Hello again, friends. My name is Haley, your fake wine snob. Um, and welcome back to my channel. This is Vino Vlogs episode two. So super exciting. Um, and I hope y'all enjoy this episode. Today I'm gonna be reviewing an article I found um, that talks about great wine regions um, in the US for a wine tasting trip from a website called Savor Journeys. So apparently every state in the US produces wine. That is interesting, I did not know that. California makes almost 90% of the wine, 89% um, of the US wine, which that's really cool. And that makes a lot of sense um, because when I think of wine regions in the US, I just think of like Napa. Best regions, first one up, Napa Valley, obviously. Um, great place to go wine tasting. I've never been, but I really want to. Napa Valley is one of the most well-known and prestigious wine regions in the United States and it's known for Cabernet Sauvignon. I did try this really good wine the other day from a Napa Valley, I think, called Crimson Ranch. Um, so they're really good. They're, um, I think it was a Cabernet Sauvignon. It's not that rich, but there is like a little tang to it. Like it's a little spicy. It's very good. Um, and it's nice, it's a nice like medium body wine. So definitely, I plug Crimson, Crimson Ranch, they're really good. Okay, I mean, I know that like for the longest time, the US wasn't considered like a good wine competitor um, and you could only get good wines from like France. Um, and then in like 1976, I believe, there was this thing called the Judgment of Paris. And um, basically, these like wine tasters did blind tastings of wines from France and the US and a wine from like Napa won, which that was really cool because they were tasting it and they were like, this has to be from France. Like there's, there's no way it's from the US, it's too good. Um, and then it was from the US and that kind of put Napa on the map. Um, so obviously it's been almost 50 years since then, but definitely that's a short amount of time with how long humans have been making wine. <laughs> Sonoma Valley, California. I've never, I've never heard of this place. Where is this? It's cut, is Napa's cousin to the West. Okay. They're less expensive. Oh, okay. And it's more laid back. So, so definitely a place I think I would be more welcome. The third on this list is Paso Roblos. Oh my god, I don't speak Spanish. I'm Paso Robles, probably. I and San Luis Obispo. I can say that one, I think. They have rich reds like Cabernet Sauvignon, um, Merlot, and Cab Franc. Okay, now a valley in Oregon, Willamette Valley. Oh, that's cool. And then you can do a typical wine tasting, which does in the Willamette Valley, which includes a vertical tasting of three to four years production. That's really cool. So vertical tasting is actually gonna be the same wine from different years. So when it says three to four years, it's gonna be like the last three to four years of production. Um, I believe those are called vintages um, in the wine world. So like you have a 2005 vintage, which could be really good depending on where it's from and what produced it and things like that. Um, so then you get a vertical tasting of the Willamette Valley's Pinot. That sounds really interesting. And then you can see how it changes with like terroir and climate and how that affects the taste of the wine. That's really cool. Boise, Idaho, interesting. This article loves wine tasting in Boise. Definitely something that should be done. And the Finger Lakes in New York. There are hundreds of wineries in the Finger Lakes. I did not know that. Okay, it got some German grapes over there. Production of Riesling in Gewurz Traminer. Gewurz Traminer. I'm not gonna try to say that with a German accent because I I do not speak German. Oh, okay, I guess that was the last one. That was the 10th one, the Finger Lakes. But this website, is it's called savorjourneys.com. They also have like best California wine regions, top wine regions in France, yeah, all this really wanted to make me do is go and try new wine. Uh, maybe do a little tasting for my next video on this channel for my next 
installment of Vino Vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, comment your favorite wine regions down below. We can get a little conversation going. Um, and yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you for joining me. Um, and thank you for learning a little bit more with me today. So, bye y'all.